The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is Anthony Joshua's recent comments that the punch Andy Ruiz landed on, landed on him was lucky and sent from the gods. We're going to start this one off with Ned the Cameraman. I, I respect that comment. You know, <laughs> like a shot behind the head that literally could cuss you the, the rest of the match. Man didn't remember, remember nothing after the third round. He doesn't remember the fight after the third round. That, that's a lucky shot. That's a shot that just blank, the, emptied his memory tank in his head, man. So that that's kind of lucky. I don't think Ruiz could get that shot again in the second fight, in a rematch. But he was blessed with a shot that literally crippled AJ in that fight. So, yeah. True. Everybody know Ned the best kid man in the business. True, true, true. I mean, hold on. We're going to end it at that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is boxing. Let's just let's just cut the crap. Okay? These guys, the first rule in boxing is protect yourself at all times. Mm -hmm. There's no lucky punches in boxing. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get it though. Alright, this is what happened, okay? It's like we was just talking about it in the segments before. People talk so much stuff. Like it's only like sometimes you you gotta stay fixed. You know what I'm saying? There's only so much you can play the humble guy or sit back and just let people continually talk and talk and talk. Eventually you're gonna say stuff. Sometimes you just might say stuff like, you know what I'm saying? Just just to stay fixed as men. You know what I'm saying? This is what we do. But as far as saying it's a lucky punch, there's no lucky punches in, in boxing. Like people were saying, oh, Danny had his his um, eyes closed when he landed a hook on oh, um, Amir Khan. <laughs> and people said, oh, Rockman landed a lucky punch on Lennox. And with all these guys, first of all, we've seen what happened with Danny. He was kept setting this up, the punch that landed on Amir Khan. And Amir Khan is a sucker for that same punch because we've seen Canelo do it. Same thing with Lennox Lewis. He was smiling, he had dropped his hands, and then he got caught by Rockman. Like countless of other fighters, Nate Campbell, other fighters that it happened to. When you <laughs> playing around, you don't protect yourself, you're running on a fighter, you get hit. It just happens. It's not a lucky punch. You just gotta learn to protect yourself at all times. This is boxing. You know what I'm saying? It's no such thing as a lucky punch. All right. Wait, wait, hold on, wait. Ned looked like he wanted to. Ned, you 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 had a rebuttal. I I was I was saying lucky in the terms of. What it did to AJ, like, like literally, if he got knocked down and got back up and wasn't all shaken up and rattled and concussed and stuff, he would have, he would have been fine. Like, oh, you're saying like, yeah. Ruiz is lucky that that it, punch it rocked, rocked him. him. Like, oh, literally, that's like, like knocked him out of his game. So, oh, I don't, I don't, hey, listen, I see Ruiz, I don't say they Ruiz was lucky that that punch. I think Ruiz seen a guy that's coming for him. And he did uh, a, a hurt guy. He's the most dangerous guy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. About this boxing thing. This is between me and you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A hurt guy yeah. is the most dangerous guy. True. We know this in boxing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. So when you say that it was a lucky punch <laughs> that he <laughs> threw, that's it's not a lucky. It was a punch that he threw that knocked AJ out of his game. That's why it was lucky. Like AJ got the luck of AJ being like. True, don't try to give a therapy session. Yeah, so yeah, this is the denial of an AJ fan. I understand. No, it's not denial of that it was a lucky thing. Like, AJ's been knocked down. And get, people get knocked down and get back up. Like, Fury got knocked out. Took the right hand. Lewis got knocked down and was like, like rock my right hand. Right hand. Up. It's a wild AJ. He got knocked <laughs> out. Took a right hand for a while and got up and won the rest of that round. Mm -hmm. A hurt man is a dangerous man. There's plenty of times though. Ruiz, other fighters that got hit and they get up. hurt AJ and he hurt AJ. AJ was mentally gone. Isn't this the hurt business? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Why, hurt, why, why, did, why did he throw the point? Let me explain it. And I took AJ's credit and he got up. Yeah, he got up. He got, he got up. What? Next question. Why did Amy Ruiz throw the punch? Was it to hurt it? To AJ? Exactly. So, so that's, that's what happened, right? That's what happened when you try to go swing with the punch. So, 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 so
Go back At first, to I was like, he was bugging. <laughs> but I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. And I, you know, I got two answers. But I agree mostly with, with Trill. I actually I'm agree with everything you said. But when you explained what you were saying, I was like, yeah. oh, okay, you're saying he's lucky that AJ didn't have all his faculties yeah. to, oh, to, okay. to, to yeah. come yeah. back. So I was like, all right, that's cute. I, I'll give you that. Yeah. 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 I'll give you that. But however, thank you. But however, to, to, respond, to respond to AJ saying that Louise hit him with a lucky punch, that's outrageous, right? Because you're talking about Louise, who's a 6'2 guy fighting a heavyweight division. Right? He's a counter fighter. That's what you do when you're at a height disadvantage. You're going to throw looping hooks to the bigger guy. You know what I'm saying? And so you should have known this is what he's going to do to get the advantage fighting against you, the taller uh, fighter. You know what I mean? And then again, remember, AJ was foolish enough to go for the kill. You know what I mean? When he could have just kept the distance game to win the fight. So that's one thing. I wouldn't say foolish. No, he, he, went, he went for the kill with his hands down. That's foolish. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, he could have went for no, the kill. It's foolish to go for the kill. Yeah. But yeah. Trill is saying he went for the kill without... Recklessly. I, 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 got you. Oh, okay, I, 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 I respect that. And now, not, not saying this is my uh, theory or conspiracy, but from what people have been saying, that he was already concussed. And you know, you need time to recover. So if he was already concussed or sparring, and then he got rocked like that by Ruiz. I can see why uh, Ned's thinking the way he's thinking. Like, yo, his equilibrium never came back for the rest of the fight. So I, I can see that part. But to say Ruiz hit you with a lucky punch sent by the, the gods, please. I'm going to say this. If Ruiz hit you with a lucky punch sent by the gods, then what's going to happen when Wilder hits you, you with the right hand? That. I hate when they do that. To the set right the to start, to start, you clap. <laughs> you know, this, 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 these guys, you know, I'm telling you, these Wilder fans. Wilder 2020, oh, baby. Oh, the craziest team in the world. <laughs> the same guy who said, if Marquez can do this to Pacquiao, Thurman's going to do this to Pacquiao. Yeah, but guess wrong. what? I was wrong. Thurman's with not Thurman. Marquez, and Wilder's not Ruiz. I was anyways, wrong with Thurman, but I'm 100% right with Wilder. Tell Wilder to fight a good fighter in 2020. That's all I want to know. I agree with you. I think it's him just staying face. It's him so much, like you said before in the other segments. Mm-hmm. People was coming at him. You got Lennox, who's been throwing shots at him. It comes to a point where you're going to say stuff. I don't even think that AJ really, I think AJ's just saying, sometimes you just got to say some stuff back. It's a play you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, Andy Ruiz has been saying stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I don't think that he he's is. a robot. Yeah, he's yeah. a robot. I don't even think he's a good blah, 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 blah. So he's, his, so his rebuttal to it, it um, Andy Ruiz said was, you got to hit me with a lucky punch. That's what you're going to say. This is what happens. This is what we know this is not the first time a boxer has said that. You know what I'm saying? Going into the rematch. You know what I'm saying? It won't be the last. You know what I'm saying? But it definitely wasn't a lucky punch. There's no such thing to me as a lucky punch in boxing. You know what I'm saying? And um, I just want to hear what you guys say. All right. Well, what I have to say is this. Luck is where preparation meets opportunity. Facts. And if you don't understand that, luck is where skills meets opportunity. Right? So if you work on something so much that when the opportunity comes for your hard work to pay off, it does. So Andy Ruiz is a guy who works on countering. And in the moment where he was hurt, his preparation for counterpunching paid off. You've seen this happen in numerous sports before. You don't call it luck. Odell Beckham Jr., when he made the catch, the grab, that set the world on fire was preparation, meeting opportunity. He spent hours on the judge machine, catching with one hand, catching with one hand, catching with one hand, catching with one hand. In the game, when a ball came, instinctively he was able to grab it with one hand because he spent hours doing that before the game. Ruiz spent hours training to counter. The opportunity came and he seized it. That's not luck. Kawhi Leonard, in the game against uh, the Philadelphia 76ers, 
shot a shot that hit every corner of the rim and it fell. He shot it at the rim. He aimed it at the rim and it fell. Was that luck? No, he was shooting it at the rim. He took that shot thousands of times, he said. When they asked him what happened, he said, I just needed to put enough arc on that shot to make sure it had a chance. How did he know that? He shot that shot thousands of times. Practice and repetition. So you want to argue that it bounced and it bounced and it bounced, but it went in. And he shot it at the rim. Andy Ruiz threw the punch. Here's how you know it's not a lucky punch. He threw it. He threw it and it for it to land, and it did. So, Andy and Joshua, and this is one of the times where I'm worried. Because if you think that's a lucky punch, it means you think he won't land it again. My friend, he will land it again if you make that same mistake. So hopefully it was just you saving face. But if you really believe it was a lucky punch, I, I'm not that confident with this rematch that you learned your lesson. And, and that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> Please like and subscribe to Boxing Blows. Blows? Blows number Boxing Blows. <laughs> I was just so tired talking about this. <laughs> He's like, God damn it, another Joshua. <laughs> another like Joshua it. said. Boss, I got it. Like Boss and Lucky Blows. <laughs> I'm like, Boss is starting to blow. <laughs> like, listen, this, all this stuff is really starting to turn into like a big soap opera reality TV show to me now. Like, I, like this is, this is becoming like, this is crazy. It's starting to take away from the actual fighters and their skills and who they are as real people. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? I actually disagree with you. I think the gimmicks. I in think the this games, is selling the fights, man. I'm being real. I think they're becoming too much of selling. Like it becomes too much of. They make them out to be more petty than what these guys really are. Yeah. That is you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I see that point. I, no, you good. You gonna disagree with me or you agree? I, 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 I can see both sides. That. I can see both sides. Like no, because it still promotes no, the fight. I'm not gonna do that. You want to do one side? Like if you feel like you know, <laughs> true, true. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, true. Like, if you gonna feel like, listen, I feel like they making the fighters look like they petty and you feel like they don't, they're promoting the fight. You know what I'm saying? That's your style. Stay on that side. Nah, nah. I feel like that. I feel like, <laughs> like they making these fighters look petty, yo. I do this, this, this. To me, I love the sport. I really love the sport and I love the fighters. That's the only reason why I signed up to do this show. It's because my love for the fighters. You know what I'm saying? And this is, is these guys is not punks like this. These guys is warriors. AJ is a warrior. You know what I'm saying? Andy Ruiz is a warrior. You know what I'm saying? Like these little games that they're playing, these little back and forth, these the I'm done with it. I'm done with it. That's just how I feel. But do you think it's petty to say, yo, you hit me with a lucky punch? I if you believe that, you believe that. No, nah, I, I because I I don't believe that he he really means that. I believe that he's just it's so much like you said, that right. you alluded to before and on the, on the, on the, on the, on the second before this, is that he's under pressure. You know what I'm saying? I think that AJ is under pressure. Or it could be. Well, you know he's just trying to sell the fight. Nah, I think he's under pressure. I think they're both under pressure. Maybe it was and I think he's, and then AJ has sat back for so long. I don't set I don't see him, AJ. I used, I I said this to my yeah. to my co-host before. I said AJ, why AJ just sits back and just lets people just says all these things about him. Mm -hmm. He just sits back and just lets all the people say all these things about him. You know what I'm saying? Oh. He never, you know what I'm saying? Now listen. That was just him. Yeah. Staying same face. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which he doesn't have to resort to certain things like that. He can come out and he can say he doesn't have to say corny things like that. He's other ways that he can, there's other things that he can say. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But there's something that changed. 
And I think pressure. And, and pressure. No, no, no. Pressure. And, and I agree with you. Let, let, let's not act like Aiden's always a nice guy. There's times where he goes on social media and he'll go at Wilder, he'll go at White, he'll go at Fury, he'll go at yeah. boxers who are talking, talking that mess towards him, and he'll say something. But a I think is. somebody comes to him and is like, hey, let's not get nasty on, on, on social media and everything. You maintain But we're talking team. about the lucky punch thing. We're, we're not talking about that. defending yourself. Yeah. We're not saying, like I said before, you got to listen to what I say yeah. before you say something. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? You got to get it out. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want nobody just disagreeing just for the sake of Keep it true. You know what your host true. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. This is what we want to do. Well, I ain't saying nothing about defending himself. I'm talking about the wit, the pettiness yeah. that he's turning into. There's been plenty of times, like I said, like he has defended him. It's how he did it. Yes. Him going by and saying, oh, he lost me. He hit me with a lucky punch. I don't see him but a conscious... AJ says that you know what I'm saying? You, you offended a Joshua fan right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not giving Joshua props. I'm giving Joshua props. I'm just saying that it's, it's because of the pressure that they everybody's acting petty now. You know what I'm saying? And it's and everything's turning into this big reality TV thing. I, I bet you any movies is gonna throw a drink on Eddie Hearn the next <laughs> one. Let's go. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I disagree, and I listen to you, but I'm not trying to extend this segment on too long. But I just think Josh was just showing his true colors. I think Dillian White pointed out before, he's mm-hmm. sick of the way Joshua uh, acts in front of the camera. Mm-hmm. And he said, be yourself. Be yourself. That was one of Dillian's biggest complaints about him and Joshua. I think he's just being himself now. And for better or for worse, like it or dislike it, he's just being more of himself. Mm-hmm. Which, some of it I like. I like the anger. I like the aggression. Um, I like... Saying like Ruiz is digging his own grave, I like hearing I that. that. But I don't like hearing it was a lucky punch. I, I, exactly. I, don't, I, don't, I don't like hearing that either. Man. Like I said, that was petty. I think he yeah. just threw it. That doesn't anything. Like I said, everything that he has said before, it fits of a person defending himself. That just like oh he just hit me with a that just go now. That is just denial. <laughs> that is to accept. Yeah, like, yeah. That just yeah. sounds that to me, everything else with him defending himself now, we're talking about that's that's cool. But this one thing, this one, this that's petty. That, that's petty. And that comes from the pressure and that comes from everybody else making him feel like, you know what I'm saying, he has to respond to every single thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying about him being himself and being a dog. I'm not saying that, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I highlight other things that he said, like what you were saying. Well, he, it's how you say it, and the things that you do say, which made it pet. You know what I'm saying? I got you. And like I was saying, subscribe to Boxing Bros. Uh, <laughs> uh, Joshua fans like, subscribe to Boxing Bros. And check us out on social media.